Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get this beautiful plum eye, perfect for the spring. Again, this is part of my spring collection, so if you're interested in knowing how I got this very simple look, then just stay tuned. So to start off this look, I'm using my Chella Hello Beautiful Eyes in the color Tantalizing Taupe, and I'm just filling in my eyebrows very lightly. Now I'm just taking my Avon Extra Lasting Concealer in the color Light Claire and I'm taking this Luxie 211 Concealer Brush and I'm just going to carve out my eyebrows and make sure that they're very sharp and crisp. Again, I have mentioned this in my other videos and I do have a full video on how I do my eyebrows and I will link that down below. Now I'm just taking this large Vasanti foundation brush and I'm blending out that concealer. Now I'm taking this MAC paint pot in the color Soft Ochre and I'm just going to apply this as a base to my eyelids. Now I'm taking a Carly by Bell's palette and I'm taking that mauve taupey shade that she has and I'm really focusing that inside of my crease and I'm just using a fluffy brush and again I am focusing that inside of my crease. Now taking the Morphe 35O palette, I'm taking this very nice light brown shade and applying that right on top of that taupey shade that we just applied. And next I'm going to be going in with the Bella P. Air Go Natural palette and I'm taking this shimmery, it's almost a purplish pink shade and I'm applying that to the center of my lids with my finger and then I'll go back in with a fluffy brush and blend those colors together. Going back into the Bella Pierre Go Natural palette, I'm taking that white shade and really applying that under my eyebrows. That's going to make the eye look a lot more cleaner and more crisp. Then I'm going into the BH Cosmetics Carly by Belle palette and I'm taking that really, really nice plum purple that she has and I'm applying that very little to the outside corners of my eye. That's just to give it a little bit more depth and definition, but I do this very little, like very, very little. Then I'm going in with the Artistry Signature Eyes Automatic Liquid Eyeliner, and I'm going to be creating myself a cat wing. Now taking this Artistry Signature Eyes Length and Definition Mascara, I'm just going to be applying a coat to my top lashes to prepare for my falsies. While my glue gets a little bit tacky, I'm using the Artistry Exact Fit Beauty Balm Perfecting Primer. And again, this is a primer, so I'm going to apply this all over my face to fill in any of the little crevices that need to be filled in. 
and then I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in the color 220 and I'm just going to be blending that into my face with my Beauty Blender. Now going back in with my Avon Extra Lasting Concealer, I'm going to be highlighting. So I'm applying this under my eyes, in the center of my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, on my cupid's bow, and on my chin. And now I'm just blending out that concealer with my Beauty Blender. Now taking my Laura Mercier translucent powder, I'm going to bake in all the areas that I put my concealer that way I make sure it does not go anywhere. So again, I'm putting this under my eyes, down the ridge of my nose, my forehead, my cupid's bow, and my chin. I'm going to let the powder bake for a little bit. Now that my glue on my falsies are tacky, I'm going to be popping those suckers on. The falsies that I'm using are the Ardell Wispies. These are so, 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 so beautiful. Next, I'm going in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. And I'm using the lightest um, cool shade on there. I believe the color is Subconscious. And... I'm going to be contouring my face with that so I'm applying that to my cheekbones and I apply this a little bit onto my temples and also on my jawline. Now I'm just contouring my nose with that same shade from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And then taking the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, I'm going to bake under my contour and that's just going to sharpen up the look. And now taking a Real Techniques buffing brush, I'm just going to um, take away all of that extra powder that we were using to bake. Now I'm taking this Studio Makeup Blush in the color Wildflower and I'm just going to be applying that to the apples of my cheeks and then I'm going in with my Becca and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop Highlight and of course I'm applying that to the high points of my face so my cheekbones, I apply some to my cupid's bow, my chin, down the bridge of my nose a little bit and I apply some on my eyebrows. Going back into the Carly by Belle palette, I'm using that mauve shade that we used earlier. I'm using a Revolution BX95 brush. I'm going to apply that to my lower lash line. Now I'm going back in with the same mascara that I used to coat my top lashes. And now I'm giving a coat to my bottom lashes.
For my lips, I'm using ColourPop Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick in the color Clueless. This is such a beautiful color on fair skin, which is why I use it in almost all of my natural looks. But yeah, guys, this pretty much completes the look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this simple tutorial. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up and comment down below on anything else that you'd like to see from me. And if you aren't subscribed to my channel already, go ahead and click that button. I have great news for you guys. I opened up a new Instagram page for myself. It's Tiffany Astrologa, and that is specifically for my makeup and beauty. The other one is still open. It's just more personal use, and I'll link both down below. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Mwah! Bye, guys.